So far, the examples we've seen with house prices have been constructed so that the z-scores have all been very round numbers. We've either been looking at z-scores of 0, 1, 2, or 3. But in reality, if we wanted to ask a question about a, a housing price that uh, when, uh, it's very often the case that when we convert that house price to a z-score, we don't get a round number at all. We get a decimal number, like 2.2 or minus 1.5. In that case, we can't use that simple curve that we've seen on the last two slides. The truth is, we could use calculus to calculate the area under the curve between any two specific z-scores. But all of this mathematics, uh, all of the calculus has already been done for us, and the answers exist in tables that display pre-calculated areas for different standard z-scores. So this is the table from the back of your textbook, Table A. What the table is showing us is the area between a z-score of 0, or essentially mu, and a, z and, and a given z-score. So this is mu plus uh, z sigma, essentially. And the table for any given z is going to tell us the area between mu and z. So let's see how this table works. Imagine we had a price, and when we, calc when we converted the price into a z-score, we got a z-score of z equals 0 0.36. How do we know the area now between 0 and 0 0.36? The way that we would use this table is first we'd look down this left column. The left column is going to give us the value of the first two digits of our z-score. And as we move across the top of the table, we're going to have different values of that third decimal over there. So in order to have 0 0.36, we're going to go down the table to the 0 0.3 row, and then we're going to go across to the 0 0.06 row, row. So the z-score that we're interested in is the is, is 0 0.36, and the area between 0 and 0 0.36 is given at this location in the table. Now that says 1, 4, 0, 6. The way this table works is that actually means that this area is equal to 0 0.1406, or 14.06%. So the area between 0, z equals 0, and z equals 0 0.36 is 14%. What if I asked you for probability b? I want to know the area to the right of the z-score. So what's the probability of a z-score being greater than 0 0.36? Well, based on knowledge of area A, we can calculate the area in B as simply 50% minus the area in A. And that's based on the fact that half of the area, we know that half of the area of the curve, so 50% of the curve, is to the right of the mean. So in order to calculate B, we just take 50% and subtract A.